Generic greetings and welcome back to Railroads. Today's beverage is a very nice Irish coffee, a wonderful treat indeed. Either way, welcome back to Railroads. In the previous video of Railroads, we were attempting another challenge and specifically looking at the Quad Lake City map, which is a custom slash multiplayer map. It's a non-historical map, I think is the better term. Uh, well, if it is historical, I've not seen it. <laughs> But there you are. We started on the top right of this on the northeast and the objective was to connect up everything on this map before moving on to another part of it. On that part of the island rather than the map should I say. But we altered the challenge halfway through to only stay on there and we managed to win. So pretty interesting and pretty fun. In this episode we're going to be looking at the northeast US map and we're going to attempt... Well, there's been different names for it, but the latest comment was the Amtrak challenge, which is only to carry passengers and mail. Now, we have done something similar to this in the past, and I went through the playlist but couldn't find the specific video, but we have done passengers and mail only but I don't believe on this map and we certainly haven't done it in recent times and we've also done the opposite of this which was the Freight King challenge which is to only carry freight. Now this is quite a difficult challenge for a couple of reasons and I'll get into that once we load into the map. So this is going to be standard difficulty, standard routing, three AI players and the start here well, you can set it to later, like 1931, but I've already attempted this on 1931 and failed because you simply don't have the time to build up your infrastructure, so I would recommend starting as early as you can on each of the maps. Anyway, we're going to start in 1830. There are things to connect up and having carloads of steel and things like that. We're not going to be doing any of that. Anyway, we will click OK and load up. So there's a couple of things I should point out. Firstly, uh, let me just pause it here. We are, well, we start off in Baltimore here. Is that us? Uh, yes, we've started off in Baltimore. Now, there's a couple of things I should point out. Now, we are allowed to obviously connect up and buy what we can and, you know, rails, etc. We are not allowed to carry any freight of any kind. So we can't carry all food, um, oil, whatever. But we are allowed to buy out the buildings that may produce that. So, for example, in Harrisburg here, there's a food plant. If food is coming here or grain is coming here, I am allowed to buy out that building. I'm just not allowed to transport that. That's part of the limitations there. Now, a couple of things that make this more difficult. Firstly, not every settlement has passengers and mail. Most of them do. So, of the... Uh, standard size, this is a town. Town or above will have passengers and it will have mail. However, you can see Easton here, Easton MD in records, I don't know why. Uh, that is just a village. It does not have passengers and mail. It may eventually get to a town and above, but that's only if things are brought from or to it. In this case, that's an oil plant there, a uh, refinery. So yeah, we have to keep an eye on that one. Secondly, there's no intermediary products. Um, so... For example, if you want to make cars in the game, you transport ore to a smelter, you transport the steel to an automobile factory, and then the automobiles to a, 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 to a city, or I think it's a town or above. Yeah, there's a town there. Oh no, yeah, it has to be a city. Yeah, a city or a metropolis. So we can't do that. There's literally we're carrying passenger mail, and that's it. There's nothing else that we can carry. And also the third thing to point out is that the money you make on passengers and mail is based on the size of your depot. So it goes from depot to a station to a terminal and the bigger one that you have is basically the better one. So yeah, anyway, we're starting Baltimore and we have Washington down the bottom and Frederick at the top, which will require passengers and mail. We have York up the top here as well as Harrisburg and very weird to say Aberdeen there. So there's a lot of good connections. So we've actually started off in a fairly decent position. In Harrisburg, we have J. Uh, Gould on the, let's have a quick look, on the far right here. In Trenton, we have J. Cook. And then finally, in Dover, we have Jim Hill. So there you are. We'll expand all of these up here, and we will start to sell some of our uh, some of our stock, and we will unpause it. Actually, we'll go to uh, unpause rather than speed up, because that's the opposite. And then we will connect up probably Baltimore straight over to Washington, and that'll go straight over there. I will then place a station, a uh, depot should I say, we will build a train which goes from there and it's going to be a 3-2, so 3 passengers and 2 mail and then we'll say close that, go back there, not unload, uh, sorry not change the cars and then we'll say okay we've got a 0-4-0 grasshopper, uh, yeah we are at very very start of this one. So that's now getting built and well going to be building a train and then come along. 
In Washington, then, you can see we can go to upgrade. We are currently at a depot. So, if we upgrade it to a station, it costs us 100,000 generic units of currency. But, it also says, 50% car unload slash, uh, load slash unload speed. So, it's bet it's faster to do that. And also, 25% passenger and mail revenue. If we do that, we get more of that. Good. And then to a terminal, which is another 150,000, so we spend a quarter of a million on upgrading this, it now also increases the load and unload speed as well as the as well as the um, passenger and mail stuff so that's pretty good right let's double track and we're gonna head over to Frederick and do pretty much the same thing now as I said I've already attempted this challenge before and I failed it and that's because I well there's, there's multiple reasons for it but basically I think the reason was because I, I expanded very quickly but I didn't upgrade uh, Mayor of uh, Reading solicits railway. I didn't upgrade to a terminal straight away, and I think that was my downfall. Because if you upgrade to a terminal, you're going to get the most passenger and mail bonus. And the thing is, at the moment, we we are the only person, we are the only railroad connecting this up. However, if someone else comes in and starts carrying passengers and mail, obviously that's going to really hit our profits. So it's important that we uh, focus on focus on this early i'm going to once again double track you noticed i haven't connected these up because i hadn't haven't needed to so i haven't connected these two together they're all on separate tracks and this one is going to go across and it's going to go over to york i think like this and over to harrisburg actually you notice i'm selling a lot of my stock um depot will go there from there Three, two. Obviously, we've got a lot of things coming from Baltimore to and from, and we may have some problems with that in the future because I'm connecting up so uh, so readily. But that's all right. Let's. Looks like he's carrying passengers and mail from Harrisburg. I'm going to go into Harrisburg and connect that up. Three, two. Go back. Job done. So we've got York and Harrisburg now connected with mail and passengers. Haven't upgraded them. So I've upgraded Frederick and I've upgraded Washington. But I haven't upgraded these two because, well, basically this stuff already gone to and from it. But I am going to start doing that. And I also want to go and connect up Aberdeen. So let's do that now. So from here, we'll double track. That's just so I can connect that up there. Then I'll do another double track. No, I won't, because I don't have the money. <laughs> Let's speed up to a slightly faster speed. New speed record set. 23 miles an hour near Baltimore Terminal. By ourselves. Most good. And down to Aberdeen. Moderate downhill, that would be. And don't think I'm going to be able to build. Oh, yeah, I can. There we are. Oh, the 420 Norris. Passenger train. Passenger loco. 40 miles an hour. 40 miles. That'll rip your eyebrows off. Right, let's go from here. And there we go. From York to Aberdeen. And it was a lot faster, these things. So I'll go to a station. Then to a terminal. And my objective is to do that on all of these. There we go. So we got a good backbone, I think, of the economy. One, two, three, four, five, six already connected. And now 32 miles an hour New York terminal. Brilliant. And I've upgraded all of these to a terminal. And now what I'm going to do is start buying out some of my own stock because <laughs> I don't have any of it. You can see that Jay sold one bit of his stock. Jim and Jay have not. So... Yes, I'm going to keep buying my stock. <laughs> so, I think that's a, of some advantage. I'm going to go back to normal speed and have a look around. You can see we've got different towns and such around here. But I think the best thing to do would be to maybe go from York. And then go over to Allentown. And then maybe come down to Philly. Philly. Yeah, come down to Philly. Probably the way forward. In fact, no, you know what? I will go from Harrisburg. Simply because the connections 
would be a bit better. Um, although it's quite, <laughs> quite a expensive task to go over here. Okay, I'm actually on slow mo as well. I just realised. There we go. So from here, which is gentle downhill, and what I want to do is curve that way. Water it up and let's just go down. And that'll do us nicely. From here. One, two, three. And there. And then we'll go to a station. And we'll get a terminal. There we go. Okay. Philly. going to be a bit more difficult because of the curve I'm going to have to now make because you just put a, a line in. Americans on the move. Oil demand spikes. Okay. I don't have anything in oil. That was, you know, our choice. You see I've connected up uh, Wilmington and Philly straight away. And we'll connect up both of these. And I'm most likely going to double track those two. In fact, you know what? I'll get the... Yeah, I'll get the double track in first. Over to there. Just gonna go back to normal speed and then I want to do that. Just in case. Because we're now gonna have a train building here. Go to Philly. And then go to there. And then back. I could technically do that. So it goes from Allentown to Philly, to Wilmington, then back to Philly, then back to there. Yeah, that's okay. Instead of coming all the way through, that would be a bit better, wouldn't it? Saves us a bit of, bit of time and effort. I am going to continue to buy up my stock. Oh, Trenton's over there as well. I think then from Philly, we come straight across. There's a tunnel and a bridge we're going to have to... Mine have to uh, work with here. There we are. And job done. And now I'm going to spend... I was going to buy out some of my own stock, but quite frankly... Ooh! 440 American! America! Big red. That's nice. I'm going to spend a lot of time and money on just building my stations and terminals. I think that would be of some benefit. So, current funds will allow me to do this. There is Philly, fully upgraded. Wilmington, upgraded. You can see when we upgrade it as well, it does change. I'm going to zoom in to see that. There's deli delivery bonus for perishables. I obviously have no <laughs> desire to get that. Doesn't mean I won't put a cheeky bid on it if I can't get, you know... Other people ha not having it is actually to my advantage. Uh, looks to be, yeah, Wilmington fully upgraded now. And I'm going to go over and upgrade Trenton. I was going to show you what it looks like when you upgrade it, but I was uh, too busy elsewhere. See that when upgrades? So you get this. It goes from the standard depot, this wooden one, to a slightly larger one and then puts in this one and then you get this big bridge across if you've got more than a couple of tracks and that can be four tracked um right new york how are we going to get to new york because of where they've put their because of where they put their thing there that's a really annoying connection for me so trenton over to new york we'll have to just go around like that that's my, far from ideal, but it is what it is. And oh, New York to Washington line operates uh, almost for business. We technically have a line going from Washington to New York. I don't think it's all connected. No, it doesn't. It's not actually all fully connected, so it, it can't be used. But at least we got uh, somewhere there. It could be done. Oh, new speed record: five miles an hour. And terminals up for business from Washington, New York. Hang on, then. Let's see. Let me just double check. I want to see the objectives. I'll pause that. Trains report. No. 
victory. So complete by in 1880 is connect New York, Philadelphia, and Washington. We've done that. Upgrade your depots in New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. to terminals. We've done that. And then deliver 50 carloads of immigrant passengers from New York to Washington, D.C. Um, we're not doing that because we're not actually connecting up the the railroads. So even though the you can see we've got this and this, they're not connected up so the train can't actually run from one side to the other. That's not a big problem. It just is what it is. I am just going through and making sure that everything has been upgraded to a terminal. Obviously I may have missed some out. I'm trying to see which ones that might be. Doesn't look like any. Um, Alright, Dover then. We will double track this. Coming down. Into Dover. Yeah, so there you go. So it's that wooden station there. Then you upgrade it. Disappears. Comes back with like a stone base. Another wooden building. Nice little round turret on the side. Then terminal. Same base, I think. Oh no, slightly different. Yeah, multiple stories, flagpoles, a lot. Good. We'll do that. And okay. So, with that all said and done, I think it's time we buy, buy out more of my own stock. The general rule of this game is that if you are not building railroad, you are losing. You have to keep expanding. Naturally, you can play tall rather than wide which we have done in the past, as in buy out loads of buildings and things like that. Coal prices heat up due to demand, apparently. Yeah, so you can you can do that. You can build tall, but this one, because of the limitations of the challenge, we do have to just spread far and wide, as far as we can possibly go. I'm just zipping around the map, you might notice, just to see where we can connect up to. We've got Trenton, we've got New York... We've got, ah, Atlantic City. And when I said that, for some reason I got <laughs> the Vigo quote from John Wick in my head. <laughs> I'm not talking about Atlantic City. I don't, why, why that of all things? I haven't even watched the film in a long time. I may have to remedy that. Uh, anyway, Atlantic City. Let's go ahead and we'll have a train going from New York over to Atlantic City. And once again, station, then a terminal. I was going to upgrade all my locos, but because we've still got some that are running from the 20s. <laughs> but, yeah. I want to upgrade to a station, then a terminal first. And I want to wait for the new loco to come into play. So, at the moment, we're on 6.3 million. The next highest is Jim Hill on 3 point... Called 3.5 million. Uh, it would be then Jay Gould on 2.6. And then Jay Cook on 2.4. However, he only owns 10% of his stock. As you can see, it's... A lot of it's owned by... Well, we've got 20% owned by Jim and 10% owned by Jay. Whereas ourselves, we own 50% of our stock. And that means that our pricing... The price is rising on that one, so pretty good. You can see this uh, Vineland, it's called here. This currently has a demand for... Uh, it's got a steel mill and a stockyard. Eventually, this village will become a town and above. So I'm, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm looking out for, basically. For growth of different towns. And obviously, we won't... Look at that. Washington is a metropolis. Yeah, obviously, we won't get everything. But we'll get what we can. And the frame rate for some reason is changing all the time. Sometimes it's nice and smooth and sometimes it drops right down. I do not know why. I'm very tempted to start buying out things like refineries. But I'm also buying out my own stock. I now own 70% of the company. Whereas if we say bought this stockyard... Would that help us out? I'm going to start buying out this stockyard. I reckon they're going to... Yeah. 
They really don't want me to get all of this. Huge oil reserves discovered in Texas. Pump prices plummet. So this is Jim's Jim Hill's concern. Actually, no. Jim Hill is bidding on it, but it's actually Jay Cook's. <laughs> Interesting. And there we go. We've won it. And the 260 Mogul, which is a freight, uh, freight engine. Okay. Let's just see. I'm going to open up my trains here and upgrade this one. So this is currently rocking that thing, the grasshopper. Whereas if we were to go to the freight, it would be pretty good. Um, it's actually better because we're carrying passengers and mail. Right, okay. So we are going to basically upgrade all of these. Which is going to put us... Almost certainly in the red. There is a tunneling patent. I am not particularly bothered if we get that, quite frankly. There's everything upgraded, by the way, which is good. I'm going to buy out this refinery. Yep, Jay Cook wants it. He's not going to get it. <laughs> Tell you that right now. That's going to be ours. Like I said, this is something we did set at the start of the challenge that we are allowed to do. Look at all this. Two ranches and a mining company. Not not being... Not being utilised in any way. I now own 80% of the company. I'm just going down to see if any of these... Any of these areas. Oh, there's a food plant. We'll put a cheeky bid on that. We'll start auctioning that. <laughs> so we're not carrying these resources. We're not carrying them at all. I said that was something that we said at the start, that we are allowed... We're not allowed to carry freight. Just not allowed. We said nothing. Oh, we did say, rather. We're allowed to buy, the, buy out the buildings that then process it. It's a bit of the sort of, well, technically type of speak of speech, but yes, that is what it is. With the money that I have, I'm no longer going to buy out any more of my company. I think we need to start getting some, maybe, money into, like, say, Jay Cook or Jim. I'm going to go with Jay Cook simply because most of their stock has already been purchased by other people. 30% is owned by Jay, 20% owned by Jim. So if we keep on buying out Jay... There's 30%. So we own as much of Jay Cook's business as as Jay Cook does. <laughs> um, yeah. That should be alright. Trenton's grown massively. It's a metropolis. And the refinery's working as well. Look at, look at the size of Philadelphia. It's actually connected up to Wilmington. So we are romping ahead at 14 million. The next highest is Jim Hill on 6.4, followed by Jay Cook on 5.4, and Jay Gould on 3.6. Looks like all of Jay's stock has been bought. I'm now going to start on Jim. And continue to buy out as much as possible. Oh, Dover, that's the Dover Furniture Plant. I'm going to put a cheeky bid on it. It is producing money. And I certainly want that building. Because you might notice now that I'm doing very little building in terms of the railroad. There's nothing I can really connect up. I'm just going to pause it for a moment. So, passengers and mail. We are on 77% of all passengers travelled. Uh, all, all passengers um, transported. We are industry leaders. Mail, uh, ourselves on 88%, and then obviously the other stuff, all the freight, by other people. But you notice, passengers, 6,000 each. I think that may be altered based on the terminals and stuff, but we'll check that when we get back into the main game. Mail is 4,000. But look, food, 24 grand. It's four times passengers. Every carload of food is four times... Uh, it's just, it's, just, it's just better. Four times more expensive. Or four times more profitable. 
So we are losing on that front. I'm just going to go over here. Let's see what it says. Seven and a half foot. Yeah, so you can see that there. We didn't get. We got a bit more because we'd upgraded this to a terminal. So we got a bit more money. Good. Right, let's continue buying out some stock. I'm going to go once again with Jim Hill because they're on that list. And why not? So we now own, I think, one, two, 40% of their stock. Every time you buy out, obviously, it's it's costing more to then do that. There's the 46010 wheeler. That is a passenger train. Passenger loco. Keep calling the trains. But I don't think there's any point. Because if you notice, the supply and the supply is so low because we've got because we've got the we've got because we're transporting the stuff back and forward. This this here, for example, it's only got one passenger and one male on board. So it's really pointless for us to buy anything faster. In fact, anything we could downgrade. <laughs> um, that's Vineland. Ah. So Vineland, the prime example here that I mentioned earlier, this has now grown to a town. So we can now transport passengers from... Might as well just go from Atlantic City. So I have to keep an eye out. Uh, I don't like building when it's paused, because it does tend to... Well, not like it. We'll do that. We'll upgrade that station, then terminal. That's the wrong button. That was the button to go back to where we started. And it's there. 3, 2. Job done. Haven't changed the the engine. It's fine. Stock exchange scandal. World markets in panic. Chairman admits to embezzlement. But what does that mean in game? I do not know. Uh, it's just things down? Let's have a quick look. Uh, goods. Don't know if this has changed or not. Anyway, in victory, oh, you can see we have managed to get expand your financial horizons by purchasing 50% stake in another railroad. So we've got that done. Oh, J Gold rewarded. 100,000 for J Gold for transporting some goods to an area. Good for them. We're going to keep buying out more Jim Hill. We have, looks to be one, two, it's very difficult to see actually. One, two, Three, four, five, sixty percent of Jim's company, and I'm going to wait until we get the next amount. They're the right amount for the next one as well. I'm just going to have a quick scoot around. Oh, half maintenance cost on all trains. That's us. Well, just in case, there's fifty grand. This is the one that I wanted. There we go. We have the McCoy's lubricator patent for ten years. We half the maintenance cost on all of our trains. That is going to give us a massive advantage. Considering when you look at uh, the trains, for example, each one of these, you can see maintenance 75, 72, 70, 60 odd, half, you know, <laughs> that across the board. It's, uh, it's a lot of money. Anyway, we now own 70% of Jim Hill's company. And we're now going to start picking up some of Jay's. It's currently March 1873. Rags to riches, tale of railroad entrepreneur. I think that's the 20 million in railroad. Yeah. Expand the financial horizon by purchasing a 50% stake in another railroad. We've done the robber baron. Haven't done the birth of rail law. Seven years. We could try and get that done. But yeah. We're not aiming for that for the, the win. I mean that's, that is that that is a valid way to win though. And I think that's where I... Ooh. Jay Cook. 46 miles an hour. I think that's where I, f uh, why I failed in a previous attempt at this challenge. I wasn't recording, I was just trying it out. But I think that's where I failed because I tried to go... I, tried, I didn't upgrade the stations to terminals. And I didn't also... Um, did, I, did I go for the objectives? I think it's, the main failure was that I didn't upgrade everything. But I think the valid way to win is what we're doing now, which is trying to make enough money... To buy out as well, carry as much mail and passengers as we possibly can, and obviously 
buy out as much stock as we can and then start purchasing oh a lot of these a lot of these industries doing that means that we have a nice foothold another way to win is to do these and get those done and by the time the game ends assuming you're still in existence I should point out as a railroad then you can simply just say yep yeah, we've won we've got all the achievements etc uh, you may notice that we have <laughs> some connection problems on this loco <laughs> I am going to because Scranton here has now upgraded to a town I'm going to have to connect on that one, but it's going to be an interesting connection. So, are you ready? We'll double track that. And how on earth? Are we going to go? <laughs> it's just simply too steep. The game's just... nope, nope. Oh no, we can do that. Steep uphill. Steep. <laughs> That's more than a 45 degree incline. There's no local in the world that can get even close to it. <laughs> In fact, that would be a, a funicular railway, I believe, to go up like that. I've been on a couple. Um, trying to think where they would be. Scarborough has one. Going down the side uh, of the cliff, I believe. Hmm, trying to think. I've been on another one in Scotland that goes up. It's like a ski slope. Yeah. The... 280 consolidation freight train 60 mph don't really have any big interest in upgrading that or upgrading our fleet to that so we now own all of our stock we are 100 ownership of our stock and we have 27 million this uh, unless something goes horribly wrong is pretty much in the bag victory screen you can see sadly we didn't get the birth of rail we haven't got... Oh, what's this? 25% passenger delivery bonus. Right, well, I'm just going to click the plus five... <laughs> plus 50 grand a couple of times, because we need that. Oh, and our power plant. I will have that as well. Yeah, I almost missed that. I was going to go through... I was going to go through the victory screen and discuss it, but I heard the, the auctions in the background, because the game doesn't pause when you go into these screens. And luckily, we came back and saw that Manufactured goods falter. Fair enough. Yeah, luckily we saw that when we came back, the thing that was being auctioned was passenger and uh, passenger goods. Was it? Uh, let me just go back to normal speed. Uh, goods report, new industries, patents. Pullman's car. Yes, twenty-five cent premium for passengers. So we get twenty-five percent more money for passengers. We have the McCoy's lubricator paint. Nope, that's actually, it's now public domain. Same as the refrigerator car, originally owned by Jay. And then um, the gearhead tunneling, which we didn't we didn't bid on any of those. We got the lubricator, but that's now public domain. And then the Pullman's car, we own for the next seven years. So yeah, victory screen. What I was going to talk about there. The Rob Baron we've done and discussed. We have Captains of Industry, which is complete by 1970. Ensure the future of your business by building or purchasing a steel mill in New York. We can do that easily. Establish a dominance in the steel market by shipping 100 cards of steel from New York steel mill. Well, I can go to New York. I can go to Empty Lot and build a... No, oh, Jake Gill rewarded. And build a steel mill. And there we go. So we've built a steel mill. Um, we will not complete that because we are not going to be shipping anything there. But we have, you know, at least done something. It's fairly pointless. But there you are. I'm just going to scoot around here. There's a paper mill in Baltimore. Interestingly, that that's where we started. Yep, we started over here. And we're not carrying anything over to that area. But someone's bidding on it. So we'll take control. Looking at the... Looking at the... Mary Eastern PS list is real there. Looking at the money we have and our stock, we could buy out Jim Hill. However, do we want to? This is Jim Hill. He's carrying goods 
Ooh, tractional inclines. We'll have that. Apparently, Jim also wants it. Yeah, he's carrying lots of stuff to Dover. Specifically, he's carrying furniture from it. And as that produces... Oh, and he's also bringing the logs to then get that. So if I buy out Jim and liquidate his assets, which I would, because if I don't liquidate them, we'll end up carrying freight stuff, which is not part of this challenge. Just looking over here, see if there's a random town in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. We'd have to liquidate it. And all the money that we're getting from the industries that are there, we, uh, we'd then lose out on. So I really don't want to I really don't want to mess around. You see, Aberdeen has not really grown at any way, shape, or form because there's a power plant there, but the only thing that's been moved from from that location is uh, passengers in mail. I'm looking at J. Cook. If I buy them out, I also get more... Of, well, Jim's got a bit of stock there as well. Jim is certainly the... One that's got the most stock. We, oh, I just realised we're on thirty-nine thousand. This is done. I should point out this is this is unless something really horrible goes wrong. This is a win. There's a paper mill. Just gonna keep putting my bid in. Got ten million in the bank, give or take. We've got that. I am gonna buy out Jay Cook and liquidate his assets. And there we go. Next on the chopping block is most likely Jay Gould. Weirdly, ah, oh, it's because of the most. No, that's strange. So Jim, Jim's company is twenty million plus. Jay Gould is just under eight million. We own about the same amount of stock, but I actually own I own more Jays. And it's cheaper. That makes sense. Out of interest, have I sold a bit of stock? Oh, it doesn't talk, doesn't show me, obviously. Half cost to build bridges. You guys can <laughs> spend all your money buying that out because I'm not building anymore. Yeah. The, the, the difference between these is shocking. You'd think that it would be a lot more expensive to buy out Jim Hill. But we are now liquidating Jay Gould. And because of that influx of cash, we're just on the right amount of money for Jim Hill. Look at that. <laughs> it's just one connection, practically. It's just one big, one big city, Philadelphia and Wilmington. And it's getting close to Dover as well. But with that, we've now bought them out. Ah, oh, <laughs> all the track beds gone. And there we are. That has been the passengers, passenger slash mail challenge, and the new local, the four six two Pacific. Yeah, this has been the passenger and mail challenge, and that's been completed. All the Amtrak challenges uh, was uh, named as well. Overall, I thought it was quite interesting, and uh, it was a challenging challenge. Let's say I have actually failed at this in the past, but I think. The option of, or our choice of upgrading to a station, then to a terminal from the get-go. Remember, a quarter of a million to do it. And considering you only start off with on this map, half a million. <laughs> you can build pretty much one track from one place to another and then upgrade it. That's pretty much all you can afford. That's why we sold all of our stock. We had zero of our stock. Luckily, nobody came in and uh, sort of ninja bid at the last moment to nick it. But yeah, we managed to get there. Buy it out. And it was a success. Yeah, pretty happy with that. And also, found that quite fun. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this video of Railroads. And hopefully you enjoyed the challenge. If you have any suggestions for ways we could have attempted this in different ways. Whether it be different techniques, uh, ways of building, etc. would like to hear them. And also, any challenges that you would 
uh, that you have in mind that you would like to see, even if it was something we've attempted before, whether you would like to see a re-attempt of that or on a different map. Again, if you have any suggestions for maps or any particular ways of doing things, then by all means, let me know in the comments. As always, hope you have enjoyed it and hopefully it's been a chill one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.